A montage of photographs depicting students and teachers. A graphic of the Perkins logo and the words, Teachable Moments. A title, Safely Heating Water, with Kate Fraser. Hello, I'm Kate Fraser from the Perkins School for the Blind. And today we're going to be talking about an easy way to heat water for a young student in a science class. We have here a hot shot. Kate Fraser sits at a table. On the table are a device for heating water, a pitcher of water, a metal tray with a measuring cup, and a large plastic beaker. And this has been available for a number of years. Some of you may have one in your home. They come in various designs, but they all include a heat button and a dispense button. We have our dry measuring cup set onto another tray. This tray is aluminum. And as we pour, I will instruct my students to keep their fingers on the outside edge of the cup and to pour until it reaches the top and to listen. Kate pours water from the pitcher into the measuring cup. Her thumb and forefinger grip the top edge of the cup. And they'll feel when it starts to spill over as well as some students can actually hear when the first drops of water hit this aluminum. So once the student has poured the water, you make sure that the equipment is ready. The power to the hot shot device is on. A plastic pitcher is in place to collect the heated water. The top of the device opens to receive the measured amount. You've placed a cup under here that will hold the exact amount of water that is needed for the experiment. Open the top. Come over, holding this level. Holding it level is very tricky for a number of students, so some may need help with this part. You pour it in. It can be located tactually. Make sure the hot shot is cold. Close the lid. This is going to be the beaker that our experiment will happen in. Press the heat button, and there is an audible click that the student will hear and there is a red light on. The student will hear it start to heat up. I instruct the students to keep their faces and heads and bodies away from the equipment while it's heating up and to listen for the process. And there's an audible click when it shuts off. I instruct my students to listen for the click and also wait until it becomes quiet so they can approach it without the risk of being burned by the steam. Then the student locates the heat button. Very often I might indicate, because as I do, sometimes the students may mix up left and right, so I may put a tactile marker on the um, dispense button. We see the two switches, heat and dispense, and a red indicator light above them. And dispense the water. I let them know if it starts to feel too hot, just take their fingers away and come back. And the student can come, locate the handle, locate their beaker. Using the a pitcher, this is a measuring cup that has a nice um, pointed spout. Kate pours the heated water from the pitcher into the plastic beaker. Now the hot water is ready for the experiment. And that is our teachable moment about heating water.